What's up everyone, DimitriV2 here, and today's video will be about resource farming. With hotfix 18.5.6, DE released a new tactical alert, but also a double resource drop event that will last until next Monday. In this video, I'm gonna quickly glance over some basic farming knowledge, and then show you my favorite farming spots in the game, so you can take maximum advantage of the double drop rate this weekend. First things first, boosters. Boosters stack with the double drop rate you get from this event, meaning that if you are running resource boosters, you will be earning 4 times the amount of resources you would normally earn. And if you want to truly maximize the amount of loot you get, at least one person in the squad should be running resource drop chance boosters as well. Squad setup If you are going to be running these missions solo or in public mode, I would suggest running either as Pilfering Swarm Hydroid or Desecrate Necros. Both of these will force enemies to drop more loot for you. I will link a video I made about my Pilfering Swarm Hydroid build in the description below. If you're going to be running with a full pre-made squad, I would suggest running two Pilfering Swarm Hydroids, one Desecrate Necros and one Speed Nova, though tweak this squad setup per mission and to your own liking of course. Now on to the main part of the video, the resource farming locations. First of all, two things. First, these spots are my personal recommendations. You might have better luck on other nodes, but these are the ones I think are either easier to do, or just more fun and effective than some of the other nodes. This is personal preference. Second of all, in all of these videos, I was not running a 2x resource booster, only a drop chance booster, so keep that in mind. First up, Argon Crystals. Argon Crystals can only be found in the void. In my experience, it's best to stick to the endless missions. Survivals and defenses contain much more enemies per key than other missions, and therefore more Argon Crystals. The difficulty of the towers didn't matter too much in my experience with farming, so it's probably better to stick to the tower 1 or 2 survivals and defenses. That way, you won't have to deal with nullifiers and bombards and you'll have an easier time farming. Circuits My two recommended spots for farming circuits are Venera on Venus and Draco on Ceres. Newer players will find Venera a much easier option and it's also the more fun map in my opinion. Draco has higher level enemies, but with a proper squad will result in much more resources. Gallium My preferred spot for Gallium is Ara on Mars. For me, there really is no other competition here. Out of everything that I've tried, nothing came even remotely close to this node on Mars. Not only that, but it's a low level planet as well, meaning pretty much everyone has access to this place. Morphix once again, Ara on Mars is your best bet. The spawns here are fantastic and Morphic drops like candy here. During my test run on stream, I got 70 Morphics in the time span of 20 minutes, and that's without a 2x booster running. Last year, during a 2x resource event, me and a few friends power farmed this place with an unnerved greedy pool mag and pilfering swarm hydroids. In just over 30 minutes, we managed to obtain a thousand Morphics. Nanospores for nanospores, you have a few different options available to you, so whenever you get bored with one of these, swap them out with one of the other ones. Mimos on Saturn is a low level survival against Grenier with average drop rates. If you're lower level, this is the place you should be looking to farm. Caracol on Saturn is a dark sector defense against infested, meaning slightly higher drop rates. If you're also looking for plastids or orican cells, this would be my suggestion. Orican derelict defense is a very good place for nanospores, and will probably yield the most out of these three. It also contains prime parts on the rotations, which is an added bonus. It will be the most difficult one to farm however, and having a pre-made squad for this helps out a lot. Neural Sensors The best place to farm neural sensors in my opinion is Ilara on Jupiter. I've tried most of the missions on Jupiter, and found that this one seems to give me the best results. While I personally slightly prefer defense over survival missions for farming resources, Ilara was just giving me a lot more neural sensors than for example Io did. Neurodes for neurode farming, I would recommend Tycho on Earth. It is a high level Orican Moon survival, which is only accessible after completing the second deep quest. The reason this map is so good for neurode farming is because of the sentience that spawn in every few minutes. They have an incredibly high chance of dropping neurodes. If you don't have access to Tycho, however, I would recommend Orican Derelict Defense, as shown earlier with the nanospores, or Tikal on Earth, a dark sector excavation map. Orican Cells. Dropping from nearly exactly the same place as nanospores, with Draco and Ceres added in as well, Oricon cells are quite a pain to farm, and are mostly up to RNG. I haven't been able to decide on the absolute best map for these, so try any of the following and see which one you like the most. Mimos on Saturn 
Coracle on Saturn, Orokin Derelict Defense, Draco on Ceres, Tethys on Saturn. I wish I could give you guys better directions for this one, but honestly my test results have come back all over the place. Sometimes I would end up with tens of Orokin cells at a time, and other times I would finish a mission with absolutely zero. Oxium. Oxium can be found on nearly every Corpus mission, but there are two maps that I would like to highlight. First off is Venera on Venus. As I've mentioned before, Venera is a low-level Corpus defense map. I find this tileset incredibly fun to play on, and I've had a lot of success farming Oxium here. Oxium Ospreys appear after the fifth wave, so keep that in mind. This is the one I would recommend almost everyone farms. The second map is Cerberus on Pluto. This is a high level interception map, and I would only recommend playing this one with a full pre-made squad who knows what they're doing. It has potentially higher Oxium than Venera, but unless you are running a full pre-made squad, stick to Venera. Plastids In my experience, farming Plastids is best done on Ophelia on Uranus. The amount of enemies spawning in there makes a perfect place for farming. Be aware however that Ophelia does require access to Archwing, so if you don't have that, you won't be able to farm here. If that is the case however, I would recommend Caracol on Saturn again. It's still a pretty good spot for farming Plastid, but doesn't compare to the amount you'll be getting on Ophelia. Polymer Bundles The two best maps I've found for farming Polymer Bundles are Venera on Venus and Ophelia on Uranus. I've discussed both of these already, so check back earlier in the video if you've missed these. Venera is in my opinion the easiest one, yet in my testing still yielded the most amount of Polymer Bundles. If you don't like doing defenses however, play Ophelia instead. Tellurium Tellurium, normally an archwing resource, can thankfully also be farmed in normal Warframe mode. The best spot by far to do this on is Ophelia on Uranus. Just kill enemies like you normally would and Tellurium will drop as a rare resource. As for the other resources, which I've not mentioned, these can usually be farmed quite easily compared to the ones in this video. Control modules for example drop like candy in the void, whilst ferrite, alloy plates or salvage will pretty much drop everywhere. That is going to be it for this video however. I would have liked to go in depth a lot more on some of these locations, but I also wanted to make sure this video gets published on time so you guys can use the upcoming weekend to farm these resources. I wish you guys the best of luck with the resource farming, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.